Right now you're into Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best. Welcome to Urban Mix. This is your boy Prince. It has been great, great, great week. I know everybody it's under quarantine. <laughs> this is your boy Prince. It has been great, great, great week. I know everybody it's under quarantine at this moment. Hey, but still I'll tell you. We are still doing good by God's grace. We are still here. All right, our first story comes from Ghana. We're going back to Ghana. During the week, the foreign minister, Miss Shelley Ayoko Botre, uh, announced that there were three Ghanaians outside who are dead. I mean, just due to this coronavirus. And two of them were confirmed from Italy, and the other one was from Denmark. Um, I said that two. Uh, Guineans in, in, in Italy have lost their life and one, I believe, in, 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 in Copenhagen, in Denmark. So, so far, from the virus, from the virus yes. The, two, two Ghanaians plus one plus three. Mm -hmm. uh, three Ghanaians so far. We are, we are praying that they, they keep to um, the advice that has been given by all these countries and make sure that they are safe. All right, let's go straight to Italy. I mean, that is where two Ghanaians were confirmed dead by the minister. I mean, the situation in Italy is now getting worse and worse every day. It's not getting better. Even though the city is under lockdown, almost all the country is under lockdown, but it's, it's not really getting easy for them out there. As you can see on your screen, these are the Italian army moving some of the dead bodies from one of the infected cities. They are taking them outside the city because like right now, all the city is piled up. All the city funeral homes, all the cemeteries are getting so full right now. They have to take them outside and it's not easy. It's not really, really easy. They are just, the death toll is just going up. It's going up drastically and they are finding it very difficult to just contain this. I mean, I would say we are just keeping them in our prayers and saying that, Hey, may God take care of them. May God just keep them safe as we all uh, go through these hard times on our third story. Let's go back to Ghana. I hope you heard, uh, one of the prophets in Ghana called prophet Kum Chacha. If you don't know him, this is his picture on the screen. Prophet Kumchacha initially when the government decided to ban all religious activities, not churches only, but all religious activities, being a mosque, mean parties, everything was banned. He came out initially to say, hey, he's not going to allow that to happen. He's going to go ahead and still offer church services and everything. But I mean, honestly, this week after everything that is going on, he just turned around and came back and said, you know what? I have changed my mind and this is what he has to say he's promising all Ghanaian churches pastors who has been affected by this coronavirus ban in ghana thousand ghana cities if you have been affected and you're a pastor that you cannot have church services he's saying that he's ready to give everybody thousand is it thousand dollars what is what is going no hey, hey producer is trying to confuse me but it's not thousand dollars i mean it will be very difficult for him to do thousand dollars. Producer, don't confuse me. It's thousand Ghana. Let's listen to what he said during an interview that he had with my big brother Kofi TV. And you mean quite ye man. I don't want to know. I won't break some you. I will soon be away. You will be the only one in BR. Me, we are on family number. Oh, who may my mobile money a man. Oh, thousand Ghana. Oh, check as of for three thousand Ghana. Men, I make a channel. Yeah, that is what he said. He said he's ready to offer each each pastor thousand Ghana cities. All you have to do is call him. And he will be ready to send you a mobile money thousand Ghana city for you to just take care of yourself. I mean, those are some of the release that people are trying to put out. And kudos to Prophet Kumchacha for doing this. I mean, yes, as you said, 
it's only a fool that doesn't change his mind so it's good that you have 10 around and change your mind and now doing a big deal supporting all these pastors who has been affected talking about that promise this week in ghana it was very difficult for most of the churches i mean our churches in ghana were online only there were no church services in most churches even here in the united states is the same my own church was also performing online i mean it was massive to see all these big churches including my church in ghana going online i mean i want to know from you just comment under the video how is the online experience like i mean any day when you go to the church the auditorium the dance the moves and everything how is it like being just online watching pastors preach giving prayers and sermons how is the feeling like just put your comment under the video let's see between online feeling and inside a church feeling right now you're into urban mix make sure you stay in tune with the best Ghanaians are reacting to most of the artists that are outside Ghana this is what they're saying they're saying hey you know what if you're still outside Ghana I mean actually the president has already issued a ban from any plane landing in Ghana all borders has been closed and nobody's coming in nobody's going out so these are the reactions to some of the Ghanaians saying that any artist who is still outside just stay there that has come now I prefer that they should be outside because maybe if they come here some people th will think they are celebs so we will not quarantine them and check up on them but I prefer they should be, they should be outside they can't say because they are celebs they should come and just be walking around in the country and spread it but if they come back they have to be checked on at the hospital if they don't test positive you don't have to quarantine them. Why should you quarantine somebody? It's, it's an abuse of rights. Uh, they have to pass through the process because we don't know. Maybe they coming back. You know, maybe they have it that kind of virus. We don't pass through those processes. But we know that they are having that virus or they are not having it. So if they should, if the president or someone should allow them to come back, they have to pass through the process so that we know if they are not having that kind of virus. To me, there is no how you can tell me to believe and I believe you. So I just see that everybody should live a free life and I mean live their life. Because that is how they came up with Ebola and stuff. And at the end of the day, we didn't see anything. We just end up stressing ourselves. Even some people die because of that. Because we are passing through process they don't know. Taking salt and the rest of it all. So talking about, I mean, Ghanaians reacting to most of the artists outside Ghana. This week, about three artists are back in Ghana. First was Bisakede. Bisakede already in Ghana right now. Um, Kim Promise is also back in Ghana right now, and it's massive. 